Hello there and welcome to today's video. It's a kind of interesting one this week because I had planned to make the character Oil Nam or player number one from Squid Game as I made uh, player 456 beforehand so I thought it'd be nice to, to add to the collection but try as I might I just could not capture his likeness so in the end I decided to work on a, a Frida polymer clay painting so yeah it just involves making a whole load of different shades of green and brown and earthy tones before I could really get started so I was kind of shocked as to how long this project took and uh, I think it isn't helped really by the fact that it's getting so dark now because uh, you know we're fast moving into to winter so the light in the studio in the the afternoon is uh, yeah, a little challenging on the eyes particularly if you've got sort of eye strain as I have so I think I'm gonna have to start being a little more canny with uh, with lights and uh, time available to work on projects over the next uh, weeks and months. I'm really not a fan of winter. Um, let me know if you're not too. I'd be really interested to know actually while I think about it if you use any of the sad lamps or the seasonal affective disorder lamps. Is it something that I might see if I can uh, use just to make myself feel a little more chipper? Uh, during the winter. It's just so challenging, isn't it? But anyway, um, I've previously made a uh, polymer painting based on one of Frida's self-portraits before now and I've really, really wanted to make another one and uh, yeah, it just seemed like the perfect time this week. So I'm just uh, moving on to making her head now and hopefully <laughs> this will be a little more successful than uh, trying to make a real nam. And it's a really interesting one actually um, because Frida was a, a hugely feminist artist and she really challenged ideas about vanity and beauty or preconceived ideas of beauty that um, a lot of her work shows her with her you know, famous unibrow and with dark facial hair and in this case uh, slightly misplaced eyes you know her eyes are really close together in this painting and it's so tempting when you're recreating work uh, to you know reposition uh, elements and um, something that you have to really fight against you know I was really trying to pick up on the essence of uh, this artwork And I should have introduced this artwork actually. Um, this is Frida's self-portrait with Benito and uh, it shows her and her parrots. I did a little bit of research on this uh, particular painting and the meaning behind the work is all about mourning really. Frida had recently lost her father who she really adores um, at some point before this uh, this painting and she felt it appropriate to pop in her parrot Benito as well because he had died as well and uh, yeah, he was just her beloved pet really so you know that the whole theme is about life and death really and particularly when we think about the the plants and the insects or the caterpillars that are soon to appear on this as well just all pick up on that that theme of um you know life and death and and cycles really so it's a really interesting work because we don't actually see any of her you know her famous flowers or any jewelry or any unnecessary adornments really it's uh, it's about her and her, her stark emotions, I'd say, really. I think through working on her hair work here, which was really super complicated, although it doesn't look it, 
Um, I'm kind of keen to work on self-portraits with braid at some point because um, there's a lot of kind of similarities between the pieces really, although that's a lot less detailed so it'd be kind of nice to, to work on something that doesn't involve so much work or so much problem solving really. So now I'm just starting work on this butterfly which took forever. Um, well the whole piece did really but I really love how the blue and the teal tones all come together and they pop so well with the, with the orange tones of the, the body here as well. So I'll just pop on some antennae and I'll just add on some yellow polymer clay as well because I really think it helps the butterfly to pop a little more because um, you know all the colour values are quite similar with all the earthy tones so just that little bit of yellow there can really add on a sense of depth really. I'll just add on some details to Bonito's eyes and I'll just move on to Frida's eyes as well which should hopefully make the piece come together. I should have said actually I removed the original eyes as I, I just wasn't happy with them really. And in case you're wondering, it's already been baked once, I just added on the eyes afterwards. And the unibrow. And I'll just keep working at that, just to add on some texture really. And with the pigments from the black polymer clay here, I'm just um, creating a sense of uh, some facial hair. And with my inks here, I'm just going to give her some rosy cheeks. And I'll leave details of the ink pens that I use down below as I, I often get asked about them. So I'm pretty pleased with this, so it's off to the oven for its second bake. And here it is, Frida's self-portrait with Benito. In a clay disarray style, it's all done and I'm really happy with this. I was a little worried that it wouldn't quite come together, but uh, yeah, really happy with the finished results. Give it a like if you got this far and I'll see you again soon.